In this lesson, we will create a basic PHP file that outputs some text into our web browser. The first thing we need to do is confirm our WAMP or MAMP server is configured correctly. To do so, simply open your web browser and type localhost in the address bar. You should then see this page displayed. This is the default WAMP page. It provides some important information about the server configuration, including the Apache and PHP version. It also lists some tools that are included in your package. We'll be using these tools in the next section when we work with MySQL database. The page also lists the websites contained in your web root or www folder. Here, we can see the folder we created in the last lesson, PHP Lessons. Remember that this is where all our files will be saved for this section of the course. To make sure your scripts are working correctly, open Notepad++ and type in the code displayed on the screen. We'll discuss the actual code in the next lesson. This file will just output the text hello world in our web browser using the PHP echo command. When you're finished typing in the code, save the file in your PHP lessons folder as intro.php. You can actually give it any file name, but the .php extension is very important. PHP files will not work unless the .php extension is included. You'll notice we've embedded the PHP code in HTML, but even so, we still need to specify the PHP extension. We cannot save it as an HTML file. Type in the following into your web address, localhost slash phplessons slash intro.php and press enter. You should now see the text hello world displayed in your web browser. 